everyone. Welcome sa ating um, introduction to Microsoft Excel um, dashboard and analytics training. So we're gonna have, um, hopefully, kaya natin ng one hour. Okay, so if ever man, I'm gonna extend a bit long, siguro. Right now, I'm gonna discuss yung, uh, ano ba yung dashboard na yan, tsaka bakit natin siya tinatawag na dashboard. And later on, I have a sample raw data, which I'm going to show you guys. It's actually a demo on how you guys can create a basic dashboard, no? especially yung marami sa atin, they're using Excel for quite a long time na, pero old school pa din. And um, hindi pa rin sila sana yung mag-build ng dashboard. So, before kasi, we don't actually call reports dashboard, no? Parang before, ano lang, uh, progress report, performance report, o kaya scorecard, ganon. Pero ngayon, kahit na anong platforms yung i-check mo, if you're using Google Analytics, if you're using CRM platforms, meron palagi siyang dashboard na part, no? So, bakit ba siya dashboard? So, syempre, pag binanggit yung word na dashboard, you might think about the automobile dashboard, no? Yung nasa harap if you're driving. And uh, basically, ano ba yung provide ng dashboard? So, um, automobile dashboard kasi, it will provide you how uh, information on how your car is performing. Di ba? Nakaka-pick up ka ng um, numbers and status ng inyong automobile. Let's say, wala ka ng gas. So, syempre, may gauge ka dyan. And meron kang mga indicators. It's always represented by numbers with uh, colors. No, meron siyang green colors, um, which is okay pa. Meron siyang red colors, meron siyang yellow or amber, which is 50-50 okay pa. So because of um, the visuals that we provide ng ating automobile dashboard, um, the driver can actually pick up information uh, so that uh, the driver would know what to do, no? So, nagka-come up siya with decision-making. So, pag nakita niya, nag alarm yung engine problem, syempre kailangan niyang i-park yung sasakyan or let's say, nag alarm yung seatbelt, may nakabukas na pinto. Di ba, nagka-come up ang driver with some decision-making kasi magkakaroon siya ng interruption sa driving kapag hindi niya inaksyonan yon. So, kaya kinuha ang dashboard reporting doon sa... Uh, automobile dashboard kasi ganun din naman sa business. So if I'm a business owner, if I have a report, kung babasahin ko yon, I should be able to get information or insights how my business is performing. Bakit hindi mabenta yung product na to? Ano yung nangyari? Bakit bumagsak yung sales ko uh, for the past three months, for example? And I should come up with decision making kasi affect, apektado ang aking uh, business. No? So doon siya na-derive. Um, when you're reading uh, a, a report, let's say you have uh, one chart. Meron tayo tinatawag na 10 second rule. So, ang 10 second rule kasi, ang isang chart, you should be able to interpret it in not more than 10 seconds. No? So, if it's very complicated na, then it's not effective. So, that's the time you have to simplify. So, I would like to share what I've learned in Linda Learning na meron tayong the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to reporting. Siyempre, marami sa mga boss natin, very visual. And this skill actually will benefit kahit na business owner ka, kahit na freelancer ka, kahit na office worker ka. Um, nagagamit talaga siya. So, according to Linda, ayan, yung pinafollow ko na trainer, um, this is actually itong unang graph na to. This is an area chart. So, it's overlapping, no? Meron kasing way so that you can make the area transparent para makita mo yung nasa likod. Kaya lang, minsan hindi na yan effective kapag sobrang dami mo ng uh, data series. And um, the other one naman here, um, eto yung parang line chart. Tapos meron siyang green and red din, no? So, this is a powerful... Um, Report kasi marami siyang um, insight na binibigay sa atin. So, may mga conditional formatting dyan na nilalagay. And sa so baba naman, which is a speedometer, ito actually, itong mga part na to, this is what we're planning to discuss. Um, if you guys would decide to avail our um, whole day training with Limitless, which is gonna be on June 25th. No? So, later I'll give you guys more information about that. Pero just giving you guys an idea about the, the good uh, kind of reporting. 
the bad naman, if you can see this circle na nandito sa left side, this is actually uh, a good presentation. Ang ganda-ganda niyang tingnan, pero you don't actually understand, no? It's just all design, pero wala talaga siyang functionality. You won't be able to get any insight out of it. Tapos yung line chart na to na nagpatong-patong na yung mga lines, um, ayan na. Parang, it's not really about how technical you are when it comes to Microsoft Excel. It's not really that eh. Kahit na marunong ka mag-chart, pero you don't know how to present well, how to simplify things, how to simplify your data, your presentation, it's actually useless, no? So, hindi, it's not really all about technicalities, kaya pumapasok yung analytics. And also, you can see a pie chart dito sa lower right corner, and it actually represents a monthly sales report. Pero, bakit siya gumamit ng pie chart? So, minsan kasi hindi naman yung, ay, ang ganda ng pie chart, gagamit ako ng pie chart. Hindi siya ganun sa reporting. So, we have different kinds of data. We have categorical, no? You are trying to compare, let's say, COVID cases, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. So, you have three categories. So, categorical yon. Now, if you are trying to get um, ano yung increase ng mga um, gumagaling sa COVID, for example, every month. So I think you can use a line chart no, sa mga ganon kasi meron siyang time series. So it's always about choosing the right chart. No? If, if nag-pie nag chart ka, nag-line chart ka, hindi siya maintindihan, magulo yung graph, then try other chart types and it's actually time to simplify. The ugly naman, meron tayong mga chart types na ano siya, uh, may mga 3D designs. So medyo tricky ang 3D design kasi if you notice, parang ano siya eh, um, yung akala mo kasi malaki yung value. Akala mo malaki yung value pero nakaharap lang kasi siya sa'yo kaya mukha siyang malaki. Okay? And kagaya nito, Pag pinresent itong chart na to sa inyo, you would actually think na, oh, bakit ang baba ng sales natin ng May? Tapos ang taas ng April. Pero it's actually misleading. So, mali yung y-axis. Um, if mapapansin mo, 175 naman yung ating lowest value. Tapos 189 yung highest. Hindi naman siya ganun kalayuan. So, medyo misleading yung ating y-axis. Kaya nagmukhang mababa yung ating uh, May, no? Pero, if you're gonna check yung buong, um, yung buong chart niya, eto guys, eto yung part na yon. Actually, naka-zoom lang siya. No? So, eto talaga yung buong chart. Tapos, naka, um, parang naka-magnify lang yung um, dalawang month. No? So, merong mga gumagawa kasi ng reports na ganun, hindi siya gaano um, clear and hindi, medyo misleading siya. Okay, so ang dami, ang dami daming rules that I, I can actually discuss but I would like to show a sample report for you uh, to you guys later. So, ayan. Um, this is another example. So, the, the one on the right is overcrowded na nagpatong-patong na yung mga data labels niya. So, if that's the case, pwede mo siguro i-sort or pwede mo siguro ayusin yung mga data labels. No? And kagaya nito guys, um, yung iba kasi, mahilig sila sa pie chart. Pero ang recommended kasi sa pie chart, hindi lalampas ng six categories. Pero this one kasi ang dami na niyang categories. So, ang mangyayari is, ayun, nagpatong-patong na yung labels and medyo mahirap na siyang basahin. Okay? So, kagaya na ito nasa left side, no? nagpatong-patong na yung mga call-outs niya. So, may mga, ano kasi, may mga data na if sobrang dami niya, mas okay na gamitin yung mga column charts or siguro mga bar charts. Are you guys, uh, yung mga participants natin or sa Zoom, are you guys using the latest version ng Excel? Let's say, are you using 2016, 2019, or 365? Anong version meron kayo ngayon? Oh, Google Sheets. Uh, 365, okay. Alright, Google Sheets is recommended for um, data collaboration. No? Though, yes, you can create a dashboard in Google Sheets. Kaya lang, hindi niya kaya mag-handle ng sobrang daming data. Tapos, um, yung pivots niya and slicers niya, hindi siya kasing friendly ng kung ano meron sa Microsoft Excel. So, 
2013 is okay pa. Um, okay pa siya. Meron na siyang um, dashboard features or yung slicer feature. Ayan. 365 is okay kasi meron tayong online, no? Um, ayan. So, yung papakita ko ngayon, hindi siya pwedeng magawa sa version 2010 and 2007 or pababa. Sana wala na 2003 users, no? And um, I think that's what we're missing kasi... Sanay tayo sa old school method. It's because old version pala yung gamit natin. So I think it's time to upgrade na siguro. So I have here another um, pie chart. So pag nakita mo yung mga slices, sa paningin ko parang pare-pareho nga yung mga sizes ng slices. No? Um, parang hindi ko siya maintindihan. nag increase ba ako towards the end of the year? Nag-improve ba yung aking sales? You won't be able to get that kind of insight or information because you use the, the wrong um, chart type here. And also, the one on the right side naman, nag-100% lahat. So, anong, mapi anong mapipick up mo sa ganitong klaseng data? Okay? So, The three questions in data, uh, key questions in data visualization is una una, what type of data are you working with? So it's not um, like once you have a data, diretso ka nang magpa-plot or gawal mo na kagad ng pivot, ipapie chart mo na kagad. So hindi naman talaga siya ganun. Okay? Kasi ang reporting, you have to check the data first. You have to analyze, do you have all of the data that you need? Or if wala, do I need to add um, helper columns, for example? Okay? So, ano yung mga data na meron ako? Are they time series? Uh, meron ba siyang mga numbers? Currency ba siya? Whole number? Percentage? Meron ba akong mga columns for categorical? So, yung mga bagay na yon you have to check sa so raw data mo. Para kapag... Um, gagawa ka na ng pivots and charts. Uh, mas madali na para sa'yo. Okay? And second is, um, what are you trying to communicate? Meron kasing mga data na kahit na pareho yung data, pero iba yung, let's say, kasi sa mga students ko, napansin ko, I give them raw data. Sabi ko, build the dashboard. Bahala kayo kung anong klaseng report ang i-build ninyo. Kasi I want them to uh, establish reports on their own eh. Makasanayan nila yung ganong process. Tapos napapansin ko sa mga students na iba-iba din pala yung reports na nage-generate nila. Minsan, the, the goal is actually different. no Iba yung relationship, iba yung comparison niya, iba yung composition, distribution, and trending. Next is, who is the end user consuming this information? When you're creating a dashboard, sino ba yung magbabasa ng report? Kasi meron sa atin Um, favorite color niya ang um, purple or pink tapos gumawa siya ng dashboard na yun ang pinaka color <laughs> tapos yung pagbibigyan niya pala ng report, yung sasenda niya ng report is lalaki pala no? so medyo baka mamaya <laughs> uh, ano sabihin ng boss mo sa lalaki tapos pink yung report na tinitingnan niya so you have to consider your audience and um, let's say bibigay mo pala yung Medyo mali yung caption ko dito sa third bullet, no? So, pa-disregard na lang. Hina-copy-paste ko yung nasa taas. So, minsan kasi, meron tayong mga recipients ng report na, let's say, senior level management. So, kailangan very visual yan. Kasi ayaw na mga boss yung puro numbers. ba diba? Ayaw nila yon Gusto nila nakatalang tumaas ba or bumaba ba. Ayan. Tapos, let's say, kapag analyst naman, ko analyst naman yung bibigyan mo ng report, medyo pressure yan kasi iba rin yung expectation niya. Okay? So, depende rin kung sino yung nagko-consume ng report, sino yung reader natin para magkaroon kayo ng... Um, ng idea, no? Kung paano nyo ba i-build yung report. So, when I started freelancing, uh, nagtatry ako mag-build ng report dati sa mga clients ko na nakukuha ko sa Upwork. Usually, I, I can build a report in one hour, two hours, depende sa data nila. Um, possible din na less than one hour, no? Kasi may mga data na simple lang. Eh. Tapos babayaran ka nila $50, $100, $300 sa isang project na ganun. So, naging um, isa sa mga source of income ko siya dati sa side gig habang nasa uh, corporate world pa ako. And this is a, a sample dashboard that we're gonna do later. It's not going to be as uh, like super... Ano kasi neto, eh, may mga icons pa siya. Ginawa ng student ko, si Alfie David. And um, 
Ayan. So, we're gonna, you know, basically use the slicers. Kaya sabi ko, hindi pwede yung um, old version. 2013 ang minimum. Kailangan pataas. So, basically, if you need to um, switch from 2013 to 2014, di ba? You guys can just click the, the slicers. Yung iba kasi sa atin, ibang report pa yung ina-open eh. Meron siyang isang file for 2013. Meron siyang isang file for 2014. Yung iba nga, monthly pa yung file nila. So, there's a problem with data consolidation kapag ganun. Um, you won't be able to compare previous year comparisons and uh, let's say by category. No? So, we're gonna build something like this uh, in a short while, okay? Ayan. So, yeah, let's let's create a dashboard report. Let me know if you have any questions so far. But I can also entertain naman questions maya maya ang content. Um, let me just reshare my screen. Screen number one. Okay. Uh, pa confirm po if you guys can see my Excel sheet right now. Kasi yung aking zoom dito siya sa kabila lumalabas. Can you guys see my Excel sheet right now? Am I sharing the right window? Okay. Alright, thank you. Ayan. Um, okay. So, right now, meron ako ditong data which is malinis na siya. Ang yung iba kasi meron silang mga raw data na hiwa-hiwalay. So let me try to share one sample to you guys. Ayan. So yung iba kasi ganito yung file nila um, per sheet, no per month siya. Actually para pareho lang yung columns eh, but the problem is Hiniwa-hiwalay pa nila. Ganito yung convention, conventional um, reporting na ginagawa ng iba no? per month. For them, it's easy na marami siyang sheet tabs. Sino ba yung gumagawa na ganito sa inyo? <laughs> so, yan. Um, this is not really recommended for reporting kasi ang database management, yan ang foundation ng reporting. You should know how to consolidate data. So, dapat nasa isang sheet lang yan. Magkakadikit lang siya. Um, para makagawa ka ng pivot ng mas madali and um, ng charts. No? So, we have here uh, a sample raw data and um, we have code IDs. So, basically, we cannot really create a report uh, based on code ID kasi sobrang daming details nito. Tapos, we have uh, business type. We have the country, the product, um, discount band. We have the units sold, manufacturing, and sales. So, if I have a raw data, una-una akong ginagawa, best practice is I click inside my data kasi pag nasa labas yung cursor mo, hindi niya madedetect kung nasaan yung data mo. So you have to click inside your data, click insert, and then click table here kasi meron kang pivot table, meron kang recommended, and meron kang table. Okay, we're gonna activate Excel table first kasi mas marami siyang advanced na features. So, this dialog box will tell you where you can find your raw data. And my table has headers is selected kasi meron naman akong headers sa aking row 1. Okay? So, I'm gonna click OK. And yeah, that's it. It's activated. This is now an Excel table. Kasi yung iba sa atin, ang ginagawa, di ba, yung borders. Ito yung borders, may fill colors. So, regular uh, regular range pa din yun, hindi siya considered na Excel table. And if you have activated it, you have uh, another ribbon here which will enable you to have more options if you want to add total row, header, ayan, first column, last column. You can easily, uh, you can easily select templates here if you don't want that color. Okay, so marami siyang mga advanced features. And if I want to Add the column here. So, pwede ako, kung nakita nyo nag-auto format na siya, I don't really need to use format painter or I don't need to extend yung aking formatting. And if we want to get a sales value, we just need to multiply itong dalawang value. Inside an Excel table, it will show easy nomenclature um, feature here. So, you will see the header. No, hindi siya yung F2 times G2, which are cell references. 
So, lumalabas yung mismong um, title header mo, okay? Which is, I think, easier kasi alam mo kaagad, naitindihan mo kaagad yung formula. So, I'm gonna press center and autofill naman yan. If you want to format itong dalawang columns na to, to dollar or currency symbol, pwede mo naman siyang i-format. So, if this is my data and I'm gonna create a basic report, so first step is to activate Excel table and second is to create your pivot tables. We're gonna click a uh, new worksheet and table two is actually this table, okay? So new worksheet and then we're gonna click okay. And as a best practice, when I'm creating report, yung aking sheet, um, and may mga grid lines siya. So I treat Excel as canvas, no? Para siyang canvas for me. So what I do is I click view and uncheck grid lines here. And this is your blank pivot. So I know a lot of you guys are familiar with pivot tables. We're gonna create five simple reports. Simple kasi one row lang and one value. So we have fields dito sa right side, okay? And um, drag and drop naman to. Pwede mo naman siya i-check, pero you cannot control kung saan siya pupunta dun sa mga boxes na meron ka dito sa baba. So what I'm gonna do is drag uh, the rows. Ayan, tapos we have sales values. So bakit kailangan sa rows ko siya i-drag? Kasi pag dinag mo siya sa columns, do you guys prefer that? Kasi parang mas okay sa akin yung ganito. So sa reporting, sa pivot, Hindi naman like kailangan sa row yan, kailangan sa columns, hindi naman ganun. No? As much as possible, um, depende sa inyo kung ano yung mas magandang tignan or mas readable. So kung mas okay sa inyo yan or mas okay sa inyo sa columns, okay lang din naman. Okay? Pero mag-iiba yung, um, yung chart nyo din eh, kapag iba yung itsura ng pivot ninyo. So values naman as much as possible, you add here... Um, Fields that you guys can calculate. Let's say, pwede mo siyang isum, pwede mo i-average or um, i, ano ba to? count sum or average. Okay? Kasi if you're gonna put, let's say, country dito sa ating values, bibilangin niya lang. Count lang siya. Yun lang ang pwede niyang i-perform. Okay? So, yeah. This is our um, basic table. So, kapag naglagay ako ng country dito sa rows ulit, I have two uh, row headers na. So, you have here a design tab na makikita nyo lang kapag nakaklik yung inyong pivot. So, you need to click um, show in tabular um, para gusto mo siyang, if gusto mo siyang mag-split. Okay? And show outline. And ito yung compact kanina. If you notice yung compact, it will show row labels. So para mawala yung row labels, you guys can select show in tabular. I'm gonna remove um, country muna for now. Okay, para business type siya. So business type, pag binalik mo siya sa compact, nagiging row label siya. So mas okay na yung makikita mo yung pangalan niya talaga, which is uh, business type. Okay. So, you have an option to format this na into currency if you guys want to do that. Okay? If gusto mong alisin yung decimal places, ayan. So, best practice is kinakopy ko na to. Uh, ayan. Pinipaste ko na siya ng apat na beses. Ayan. Para magmodify na lang ako. Okay? Auto fit natin yung columns. So, use your control key so you can click multiple columns and um, if I want to remove itong business type I can change it to country itong business type I can change this to product so dinadrag mo lang palabas yung field no? this one I want a monthly report pero wala pala tayong month na column that's okay uh, we can use a uh, discount band okay so, kung wala kang monthly report, what you can do is mag-add ka dito ng column month. Ito yung mga helper columns natin. Pwede mong gamitin yung function na text. Meron siyang value, which is ito yung date natin. We're gonna convert that to um, yeah, four letter M's, which is yung full month description niya. If you want, meti tayong magbawas na isang M para shortcut na lang siya, okay? So, if you're changing your data, you have to refresh your tables kasi hindi siya auto-update. Pero sa Google Sheets, auto-update yan. Yun ang napansin ko, 
Okay? So, ito, meron na tayong month dito. Now, we can remove one field here and we can drag itong month. Okay? Ayan. Masyado po bang mabilis or <laughs> okay naman? Ayan. Uh, let me know lang. Okay. So, I think we're ready to build our, ano na, our charts now. So, when you're building charts, just make sure to select the right pivot. Kasi baka mamaya ito yung ginagawan mo ng report, pero yung uh, pointer mo, ito yung cursor mo, nakaklik dito. Okay? So, ayan. Be very observant. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, click insert. Diba kanina? Insert table. Pangalawa is insert pivot table. Pangatlo is uh, insert pivot chart naman. So, pivot chart tayo. Okay? And um, pwede kayong mag-select dito ng chart. So, since this is a categorical naman, I can use a pie. So, I'm gonna click OK. Alright. So, aalisin ko muna itong um, field buttons kasi gagamit tayo ng slicer mamaya. And I can format this. Pwede ko na siya i-format. Or, sige, mamaya natin i-format. I-transfer muna natin siya doon sa isang template. So, insert natin lahat ng charts na meron muna tayo. I'm gonna use the second data na. So, since meron tayong five, I think okay pa yung um, donut. No? Tapos, this is my third pivot, insert pivot chart. So, ulit-ulit lang siya. Pinipili mo lang yung tamang uh, chart type for it. Hindi pa naman siya overcrowded. Ayan. So, nababasa pa naman yung mga data. So, okay pa. Pang-apat na tayo. Later, I'll show you guys yung designing naman ng report. So, this is a bar chart. And our last report, since monthly report siya, like what I mentioned kanina, kapag monthly report, mas perfect dyan yung mga line charts, no? So, line, I'm gonna select the one with markers. Click OK lang. Alright. So, gagawa tayo ng template ngayon. What I'm gonna do is to add another is to add another ano, uh, sheet and you can remove the grid lines. Yun yung unang-una kong ginagawa kapag nagre-reporting ako. Tapos you guys can go page layout, just click background, tapos type lang natin background. So dapat nakakonect kayo sa internet kasi uh, maghahanap siya ng pictures online. So I'm gonna select this design na lang muna as my background sa aking sheet. So, yung buong sheet ninyo yan, no? Ayan, no? Kahit nalitan ninyo siya, yung buong sheet nyo, um, na-apply yung background. Okay? So, I'm gonna add a title. I-build na natin yung ating report. Let's say that's your title. Ayan. Tapos, let's just add a line lock. Format lang natin. Okay. Alright, then we're gonna add um, our charts, no? We're gonna transfer them. So, I'm holding my control key, tapos kiniklik ko yung mga charts. So, let's press uh, control X, which is the shortcut key for cut. Okay. So, now we can arrange our reports. So, when you're uh, building reports, I would recommend na just imagine that you are filling a box. Tapat wala kang mga awkward na spaces. Tapos, syempre, you want to organize your, ano eh, you want to organize your report. So, dapat pantay-pantay sila. Medyo specific dyan yung mga clients. So, you can uh, click itong dalawang charts and pwede mo siyang pagsabayin na uh, i-adjust yung width. Okay? Para alam mo na equal yung size talaga nila. So, this is my report and I can actually remove yung mga uh, field buttons, no? Yung field buttons, ito yung mga field buttons natin. Okay? So, inaalis ko sila kasi meron naman tayong mga slicer. 
So, gagamit na lang tayo ng slicer para mas malinis yung ating uh, charts and report. Okay? Ayan. So, paano alisin yun? You can right-click itong field buttons, hide all. Right-click, hide all. Right-click, hide all. Okay? Tapos, alisin ko itong total kasi one data series data series lang naman ang meron tayo. Isa lang naman siya. So, we don't need a legend. Kailangan lang yung legend for pie charts like this. And once na you have your charts, pwede mo i-click ito. Lalabas yung style or long cut niyan is dito sa design tab. Okay? So, let's say you prefer this design. Pwede mo naman siyang um, i-ano, di ba? Uh, I-format ng ganon. So, etong mga, uh, let's say, meron tayo four na hindi pa na-format. Ayan. So, hindi kasi siya pwede nang sabay-sabay. Ayan. So, kasi baka mamaya itry ninyo siya. So, nawawala dito yung um, formatting. No? So, individual lang talaga siya. So, you can select etong um, shortcut. etong parang paintbrush. I'm not sure kung ano yung, kung available yung icon na to sa 2010. I'm just not sure. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ko usually, I select the style muna. The chart style. Pag gumagawa ko ng report. Tapos, uh, meron kasi tayo ditong um, color, no? Kaya lang yung color kasi, ayoko kasi mag-isa-isa ng color, eh. So, ginagawa ko, um, pumunta ako sa page layout, pumipili na lang ako ng colors dito sa page layout. So, eto yung theme color niya. Okay? So, ayan. Pwede kang pumili dito ng theme or pwede kang pumili dito ng design din. So, let's say... Tiga lang. Parang nagahang siya. Let's say... Ayan. If you click that, ayan. nag apply yung theme. Okay? So, if you click organic... Ayan. So, <clears throat> mas mabilis na way to, to format your report. No? Pupili ka ng theme. Tapos, um, lahat, na ng lahat ng objects mo nag-auto format siya. So, let's say this is our team. Pati yung font mo dito, naapektuhan yan. So, adjust lang natin siya. Okay. And then, um, change the title here. Let's say, sales report by, uh, ano to? Ano yung una nating category? Ah, business type. So, when you're creating uh, chart titles, dapat very descriptive siya doon sa kung ano man yung laman ng data. Huwag kang gagamit ng mga one-word ano lang na title. Yung iba nga, nagdalagay pa sila ng text box. May konting description pa doon sa performance. May mga ganun sa analytics no? or improvement ng chart. So, this is uh, by location. This is uh, sales report. by discount fund. Nakakasunod ba kayo? <laughs> Are you guys learning so far? Ito, monthly sales naman to. Monthly sales. And this is our sales report by product. Okay? Ay, paano nalagay yung dollar sign? Ito po, hinighlight ko siya. Meron ka ditong shortcut dito. Or if you right-click uh, format cells, o kaya press control 1, meron ka ditong currency, pwede kang pumili ng peso sign or dollar sign dito. Okay? Format cells po. Alright. So, ayan, nagawa na natin yung titles. And um, next is, we're gonna add the slicers muna. So, sa slicer, it can actually control your pivots. So, if you click one pivot, if you go to pivot analyze or analyze yan doon sa mga 2016 user, no? kasi 2019 yung gamit ko, um, you can find uh, insert slicer here, tsaka insert timeline. Okay? So if you click insert timeline, for example, meron ka ditong date lang. Kasi yung timeline, pang date lang talaga siya. And um, etong slicer na to, it will affect etong um, pivot na to. No? Pag nakita mo, nagkiklik ka dito, nagbabago yung values niya. So, I'm gonna transfer it here. 
Pero, pwede ka naman mag-add ng um, slicer and timeline na gamit din yung pivot chart mo. So, if you select your pivot chart, you will still see the pivot chart analyzed. So, pwede dyan na lang din para diretso ka na. Okay? So, ibaba lang natin ng konti para we have enough space sa ating mga slicers. And this is our timeline. Okay? And I'm gonna add another slicer. So, insert slicer lang. We can select business type country kasi I want a filter sana na business type country and product. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay? So, ito. Ito yung mga slicer mo. So, para uniform yung height, um, what you need to do is check kung ano yung height na itong una mong um, slicer. So, ang height niya is 1.91. So, i-click mo na lang itong mga slicer mo and um, type mo dito yung 1.91. Enter. Para hindi ka mano-manong nagtatansya ng height. Okay? So, we're gonna... Adjust lang natin. You can split this to two columns and pwede mong pakapalin yung buttons niya. Okay? So, if you notice, pinapantay ko yung ating um, slicer doon sa dulo ng ating mga charts. Ay, sorry. May nagchat-chat pa. Yes, meron din pong slicers and uh, ang Google Sheet. Pero pag nakita mo, hindi siya ganito. Hindi siya buttons. Mukha siyang filter. So, meron siyang box. Pero kailangan mo i-click. Pag lumabas siya, mukha siyang auto-filter ng Excel. Di ba meron tayong ito? Mukha siyang ganito. Yan. Ganito lang itsura niya. Hindi siya yung buttons na... Uh, hindi siya yung buttons na ganito. Kaya hindi ko siya gusto. <laughs> okay? So, yan. For power users talaga, Excel pa din. Ako, I'm using Google Sheets ha, for some of my clients. Pero hindi ko siya... Um, hindi ako gumagawa ng dashboard doon. Usually, pag marami lang data, pag multiple users, ayan, nag Google Sheets kami. So, itong slicer natin, if you guys notice, since ito yung kinlik ko kanina, ang napapagalaw lang ng slicer is yung pie chart lang. So, para mapagalaw niya lahat, you're gonna have to right-click your slicer, report connections, and you can select the reports na gusto mong makontrol niya. But you have to do that in all of your reports. Okay? Ayan. So, i-report connections mo lahat. Hindi naman required lahat pagalawin mo. Pero, yan. If you want na, kasi ako gusto ko lahat pagalawin for now kasi that's the report that we're trying to build. So, let's say if you want to view Queensland, how Queensland is performing. Ayan. Ito yung buong performance ng Queensland, Tasmania. So, you can switch from one country to another and just view the report no ng ganun kabilis and you can reset ito if you see this ano um button here ito bilugan ko lang ah ay nawala so ito guys ito yung pang reset or pang clear ng filter nagselect ka ng button if you want to reset or clear yan yung i-click mo pero if you want na multiple selection ito naman etong may mga check okay yan yung isa select mo so, yeah. Ang um, gagawin ko is, let's say, kinlik ko yung um, Australian Capital Territory. If you want to select another one, just click this one and click Victoria. So, you're selecting two countries at the same time. Alright? Yun yung purpose niya. Pero ang ibang option doon is, if you reset this, pwede kang mag-click and then hold mo na yung control key mo. And pwede kang mag-click ng multiple items. So let's say you want to click um, New South Wales. Tapos you want to see uh, Enterprise lang. So nafe-filter yung report mo. Ibig sabihin, this performance is New South Wales Enterprise lang. Okay, if you want to see the monthly performance of, let's say, corporation under Victoria, kiniklik mo lang yung buttons na yun, interconnected kasi sila. And this is going to be your... Um, output, no? So, syempre, to improve your report, uh, meron pa tayo ditong uh, pwedeng gawin. Let's say, eto, gusto mo siyang isort. Right-click mo lang and you can sort this from largest to smallest. So, you can see 
um, the top three and bottom three uh, performers, okay? Tapos sa mga pie charts, uh, ang ginagawa ko is naglalagay ako ng data labels. Data labels, meron kang mga actual na value na lalabas sa mga pie charts mo. Ayan, so lumalabas na siya dun sa pie chart. So let's say I want it outside. Okay. Tapos, um, para hindi ka na titingin dito sa legend, pwede mo i-right click itong uh, value na to. Pwede kang mag-format data labels. And dito sa ating right panel, you can click category name para lumabas na mismo yung corporation, small business, dun sa mismong slice na nakatapat na siya dyan para pwede mo nang alisin yung legend. Okay? So yeah, yan ang ginagawa ko para hindi na ako tumitingin sa legend. Kino-compare ko pa yung uh, color. No? So that's what I recommend you guys to do as well if you're creating some pie charts. Kaya hindi pwede yung sobrang daming value Let's say, sampu yung categories mo. So, hindi na siya advisable. Okay? Kasi kapag ganun, crowded na siya. So, gumamit ka na lang ng bar or uh, line chart. And, uh, so, if you want to add data labels here, click mo lang yung plus na chart elements or you can click this add chart element. Marami ka pang pwedeng ilagay dyan. So, I'm gonna add uh, data labels. Ito yung mga values, no? So, ayan. Data labels. Okay, para hindi mo na titingnan yung pivot table mo. Outside and and also for your line charts, what you can do is to add a trend line. Kasi let's say this one, di mo alam kung nag-increase ba yung sales mo from January to December. So what you can do is to add a trend line. So you can click here and click linear for now. Linear muna, itatry natin. And so, meron siyang um, straight line na going up, no? So, if you click, let's say, ACT, ayan, going up yung direction niya. Ibig sabihin, nag-increase, nag-improve yung sales niya. Let's try Queensland, okay pa. Victoria, Tasmania, and NSW, eh, lahat naman sila nag-improve. Let's try yung ating byproduct kung meron yung pababa ang sales. Meron ba? Parang pataas siya lahat. Ayan, pataas din lahat. Corporation. Ito, if you see enterprise, no, medyo parang close to flat line na yung ating trend line. So, nag-increase pero hindi ganun ka-significant. Okay? So, yun yung magiging guide mo para malaman mo yung performance overall ng inyong uh, report, no? So, basically, this is your dashboard na. And ang dami pang pwedeng i-discuss actually yung for now, yung for one hour natin, yun lang muna yung ka-cover ko. Pero if you have any question, let's say, what if nagdagdag ka ng raw data, let's say, i-expand ko lang etong data natin. Ha? Dadagdagan ko lang siya dito guys, ikakopy-paste ko lang yung ating values, nag-auto-populate naman lahat yan. So, hindi automatic na mag-update yung ating report. no So, Let's say, na-build mo na yung report na to. Next time, hindi mo na kailangan siya gawin ulit. Kasi that's how automation works eh. And um, magsasalpak ka na lang ng raw data. Para automatic na yung report mo. Kasi ang reporting, hindi siya dapat repetitive. Um, pag nagre-report ka, build mo lang siya ng once. Yun na magkoconsume ng time. Tapos, going forward, nagpa-plug ka na lang ng data. Kagaya ng ginawa ko dito. Nagdagdag lang ako ng raw data. Pag nagdagdag ka ng raw data, gawin mo lang, refresh mo lang yung file mo. So, click mo lang itong refresh all. Ayan, medyo gumalaw yung numbers. So, ganun. Ganun lang siya um, ginagawa. No? So, let's say, meron ka dito. Ayan, dagdagan natin ng number. Magpalit tayo dito ng date. Ayan, naglagay tayo hanggang 2018. So, nagdagdag ka ng data. E di refresh mo lang yung file mo. You can see na, ayan, gumalaw yung file. E di tapos na yung report mo. So, yan ang um, basic uh, reporting. Mas okay kasi yung gantong reporting compared doon sa mga reports na nag-open ka pa ng maraming sheets or ang tagal-tagal mo ginagawa kasi sa bug yung database mo. So, you can create a report like this if your raw data is consolidated. Kung maraming sheets yung raw data mo pero same data lang naman, may hirapan ka. So, you should know how to consolidate. So, ito pa lang... Um, Timeline, guys. Paano siya gamitin? So, pwede mo siyang i-drag. Let's say you want to see three months. Ayan, dinadrag mo lang ito. Pwede ka mag-click ng isang buwan lang. 
Tapos, pwede ka mag-click ng, let's say, gusto kong makita yung 3 months. So, that's your 3 months report. Makita mo yung monthly sales mo, 3 months lang siya. Okay? And let's say, pag nakita mo kasi ito, ayan, zoom out ko lang. Oops. Sorry po. Um, you can change this to years. You can change this to quarters. Ayan, month and days. Okay? So, let's say year, ay, let's say, ayan, years. Pwede mo i-compare yung 2013 to 2014 ng ganun kabilis. If you want to see uh, three years performance, dinadrag mo lang siya. Okay? So, yan. Pwede mo siyang gawing quarter if you want to see quarter one, quarter two, and quarter three, for example. Okay? Or balik mo siya sa months. Alright? So, yan ang ating um, uh, basic dashboard, no? So, Ayan, what questions do you have so far, guys? Na nakasunod naman ba kayo or okay naman ba so far yung um, lesson? Do you have any questions? Walang masyadong questions. I'm not sure if we have questions sa live. May mga admin, I'm not sure if may mga questions ba na ni-raise sa live, uh, yung Facebook live. Kasi dito sa Zoom, walang gaano questions. Okay. So, um, doon sa ating eight hour, um, sige, while waiting for your question, uh, so we have uh, a seven hour session on June 25. Ito, patikim pa lang ng mga possible na pwede nyo matutunan. And um, sa ating um, June 25 na session, meron tayong, uh, meron tayong access, I think, all of the participants will have access to share the screen para I can monitor kung ano yung ginagawa ninyong report so far. Tapos I can also teach you to um, add more features kasi meron pang mga features na hindi ko pa naka-cover. And we can also tackle, may mga formulas pa. Formulas, if ever, na you need to create a dashboard pero you are using uh, an old version. Okay, so paano kapag ganun? Ano yung pwedeng maging turn around? Kasi wala kang slicer. So ano yung pwede kong maging option? So yun. Um, we're gonna discuss more chart types. Marami pang, uh, may mga formulas din na i-cover. Tapos hands-on talaga siya. So you have to be uh, using your laptop, no? Hindi siya pwede sa phone. Kasi ayun, mag-hands-on na. Uh,